Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix iPhone Siri 2.0 not working iOS 18. The brand new Siri 2.0 is fully functional, equipped with Apple intelligence and all its features. However, on some devices, it's still stuck with the older version of Siri. This is a common problem many users are facing, but don't worry, I'm here to show you exactly how to fix it so that you, too, can enjoy the benefits of Siri 2.0 and Apple Intelligence. All right, let's get started with the solution. There are several important requirements you'll need to meet. To check the device requirement, start by opening the Settings app, then go to General and tap on About. Now, here's where we check for the first and most crucial requirement, your iPhone model, Apple Intelligence, and Siri. 2.0 is only available on the iPhone 15 Pro, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and all models in the upcoming iPhone 16 series. If you have any other model, like the iPhone 15 or iPhone 15 Plus, or an older model, you won't be able to use Siri 2.0 at all. It's important to note that Apple has chosen to limit the availability of Siri 2.0 to its Pro models and newer iPhones. To check the iOS version on your device, open the Settings app, scroll down, tap on General, and then tap on Software Update. Here, you'll need to ensure that your iPhone is running on at least iOS 18.1 because that's the minimum requirement for these new features. If your iPhone is currently on iOS 18.0 or even iOS 18.01, you won't be able to access Siri 2.0 or Apple Intelligence just yet. However, there's a workaround you can enroll in the iOS 18 beta program to get early access to these updates. All you have to do is open your browser and head to beta.apple.com. Once you're on Apple's beta page, sign in using your Apple ID. After logging in, you'll be prompted to agree to the terms and conditions of the Apple beta software program. It's essential to read through these terms, as enrolling in beta updates means you'll be using software that's still in development and may have some bugs or stability issues. After enrolling your device, you'll be presented with an option to Open Beta Updates. Tap this, and your iPhone will now have access to the beta software updates, including iOS 18.1. These beta updates are the key to unlocking features like Apple Intelligence and Siri 2.0 early. Once you've completed these steps, simply head to Settings General Software Update, and you should now see the option to update your iPhone to the iOS 18.1 beta version. It's as easy as downloading and installing any regular software update from there, and your iPhone will be upgraded to the latest beta release. Keep in mind that while the beta gives you access to the latest features, it can sometimes have some bugs or issues since it's still in development. But if you're excited to try out Apple Intelligence right now, this is a great way to get early access. Once your iPhone is running iOS 18.1, you'll have cleared the first hurdle in getting Siri 2.0 and Apple Intelligence. Now, let's talk about the release schedule for Apple Intelligence. Right now, as of the time of recording, Apple Intelligence is only officially available in the United States. In other regions like the United Kingdom, it's scheduled for release in December 2024. For other countries, such as those in Europe, the rollout isn't expected until mid-2025. So if you're outside the U.S., you're technically not supposed to have access to Apple Intelligence just yet. However, if you're eager to try it out and don't want to wait for the official release in your region, there is a way to work around this restriction. But before we go any further, I would advise that you only do this on a spare iPhone, not your primary device, because some of the steps I'm about to show you may affect things like Apple Pay and other Apple services. Let's dive into the first method you can use to unlock Apple Intelligence on your device. Even if you're not in the US first, this is to go into Settings, then General, and tap on Language and Region. You'll also need to change your region to the United States, but fair warning, this will disable Apple Pay and could mess up some other region-specific services on your phone. If you rely on Apple Pay, I don't recommend doing this. Once you've switched the region, go back into the Apple Intelligence settings and make sure that Siri's language is set to English, United States, as well. Once all of these changes are made, you should see the option to enable Apple Intelligence. Now, if you don't want to mess with your existing Apple ID or change your current account settings, there is another method you can try. 
This involves creating a brand new Apple ID that is set to the United States. To do this, open your web browser and go to quote applid.apple.com. From there, tap the menu icon and select Create Your Apple ID. When filling out your details, make sure to select the United States as your region and use a real phone number from your actual country. Again, you can use a fake U.S. address from an address generator online for the address. Once your new Apple ID is created, you'll need to sign out of your current iCloud account on your iPhone and sign in with this new U.S.-based Apple ID. After doing that, go into Settings, then General, and update your language and region to the United States. Also, don't forget to change your Siri language to English United States. With these changes, you should now see the option to enable Apple Intelligence. Another reason you might not be able to access Siri 2.0 and Apple Intelligence could be that you haven't reserved your spot for the feature. Since Apple Intelligence is still in its beta phase, it's not automatically available to all users, even if you meet the hardware and software requirements. What you need to do is join the Apple Intelligence waitlist. This is a crucial step because Apple is currently rolling out the feature to users in waves, and only those who have registered for the waitlist will be granted access when their turn comes. To do this, open your settings, Navigate to the Apple Intelligence section and look for an option that says, Join the Apple Intelligence waitlist. Once you tap on that, you'll be added to the queue. After successfully joining the waitlist, you should notice that the download for Apple Intelligence has begun. The process might take a little while, especially if Apple is gradually rolling out the feature based on region or user group, so be patient. Once the download is complete and everything is installed, you'll finally have access to Apple Intelligence and Siri 2.0. At this point, you'll be able to interact with Siri using advanced AI features, such as more natural conversation abilities, enhanced automation, and other exciting functionalities unique to Apple Intelligence. Remember, all of this may seem overly complicated, and it's true that Apple has made the process difficult for users outside of the US to access these features. They've restricted Apple Intelligence based on region, device type, and software version. While the steps I've shared allow you to bypass these restrictions, they do come with trade-offs, like the potential loss of Apple Pay functionality or other region-specific services. If you're willing to go through the process and you really want to experience Siri 2.0 quote and Apple Intelligence before its official release in your region, this is the way to do it. However, if this seems too complicated or risky for you, I'd recommend waiting until Apple officially rolls out the feature in your country. Either way, I hope this video has been helpful in guiding you through the steps to unlock Siri 2.0. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.